The Niger, Africa's third biggest river, is slowly choking. Since the early 70s, water levels have been falling, and the river has been diminished by decreased rainfall, the effects of climate change, human pollution, and over-exploitation of its resources. The stigmata of this degradation can be seen the entire length of this 4,200-kilometer waterway that winds across nine countries. More than 100 million people depend on the Niger for their livelihoods. The miracle of the desert, as it is known by those who need it for their drinking water, irrigation and fisheries, is responsible for the wealth of an entire region. All rivers need saving. This one must be saved. For years, the African Development Bank has been tending to the endangered river, funding programs developed by neighboring countries. A key project is the Titanic Kandaji program. A few years from now, a dam will rise up here in the Niamey region, spanning the Nigerian part of the river. With the reservoir and the difference in level, we intend to build a hydroelectric power plant with installed capacity of 130 megawatts, that is 656 gigawatts a year. That will be more than enough to satisfy Niger's present requirements. The energy potential of the Kandanji Dam will provide power to tens of thousands of homes. A reservoir of almost 1.6 billion cubic meters of water will be enough to supply the capital and the surrounding towns. The dam will also help replenish ecosystems and promote agriculture in the valley. The ultimate goal for Kandaji over the next 15 years is to reduce poverty and improve food security for the inhabitants of the Niger Basin. But saving the river Niger means putting an end to sand invasion. What you see here is a Gabion wall. The idea is to limit rainwater runoff as the rain washes huge amounts of sand into the river. Another battle to be won is the campaign against wind erosion. In this particular case, the relentless advance of the sand dunes must be stopped. The Klimdev program also has AFDB support. Its objective is to improve monitoring and forecasting of the effects of climate change. This is the case with ACMAD, the African Center of Meteorological Applications for Development in Niamey. We began working closely with the ADB in the context of Climdev Africa, an aspect of the program which dealt with capacity building for regional institutions involving climate-based work was funded entirely by the African Development Bank. The AgriMet Regional Center is a specialized institution in the permanent interstate committee of the campaign to combat drought in the Sahel and will also receive investments from the AFDB as part of the Climsaf program. The African Development Bank was very proactive. Their overall objective is to contribute towards consolidating a solid foundation for a sustainable development based on water management projects, the campaign against desertification, and more recently, climate change. Many specialists believe that the Niger could become a shining example of an effective counterattack on climate change. With the rebirth of the miracle of the desert, the Niger Basin region and its inhabitants should soon be back on the road to growth.